could you tell me about the misperceptions that are taking place? Well, the, there, are, there are many misperceptions. I mean, one is that as public sector workers, we are unusually privileged. Um, many private sector workers don't have pension schemes at all. But as I say, if you make pay comparisons, you take our colleagues in accounting, law, many parts of business, uh, many parts of natural sciences, they could earn far more money in the private sector. So the notion that we are all massively overpaid is nonsensical. The pension in one sense, as I said, kind of compensates for the pay. The pay is a bit lower than the private sector, but the pension offsets. It's significantly better. And so we get a, a balanced reward package. Um, there's also a notion uh, that we don't care about the students. We're happy to strike week after week and cancel lectures. And we're not concerned about this. Not at all. I mean, the people who work in universities are extraordinarily professional, very committed to teaching. We work very, very long hours. 55, 60 hours a week is not unusual. We have young people on casual contracts, insecure contracts, who are paid relatively low wages for teaching students. Um, so we are concerned. But we have been forced into this position by the attitudes of our employers who've said back in January, we've finished negotiating, we're not going to discuss these pension reforms anymore, we're simply going to change your scheme unilaterally and destroy it. We've therefore had no choice but to take some form of action and that's why we have been on strike.